Helenade. Bunny Black Eyes. Once upon a time there was a gray bunny. Gray bunny, black eyes, small white tail. And the hare had a mother, a gray hare. Black eyes, white tail, a little more. They lived in a small, clean house, with a blue porch, a white window, and a tall red chimney. The bunny loved to jump and frolic. Then he would play catch up with a squirrel. Then he would run after a sunny bunny. Then he would catch his own tail. The bunny liked to have a delicious lunch with white cabbage, red cabbage and cauliflower, if it happens. The mother hare also jumped, but not just like that, but on business. She brought her son from the beds of white cabbage, red cabbage, even colored cabbage, and sometimes rutabagas. One evening, this is what happened. Mom put the bunny to bed. Only the bunny didn't want to sleep. He threw off the blanket and shouted, I don't want to sleep tonight. Give rather white cabbage, give rather red cabbage, give colored and a little rutabaga. Mom covered him with a blanket. Affectionately, his mother told him, go to sleep, tomorrow morning you will get white cabbage, colored cabbage and a little rutabaga. But the bunny did not listen to his mother. If you don't close your eyes, my son, my mother said quietly to the bunny, a red fox will come out of the forest. And, just so you know, he'll kick your ears. I'm not afraid, the little hare screamed, I'm not afraid of the red fox. I'll press my ears to my back, and the foxes won't notice them, honestly. I don't want to sleep tonight. Give rather white cabbage, give rather red cabbage, give colored and a little rutabaga. If you don't close your eyes, mom said angrily, the wolf will sneak up to your crib and grab you by the tail. I'm not afraid. The little hare screamed. I won't be afraid of a stupid wolf. I'll run away, he won't catch up with me. I don't want to sleep tonight. Give rather white cabbage, give rather red cabbage, give rather colored. And a little rutabaga. Then mom got really angry. If you don't close your eyes, a club-footed bear will come out of the thicket and treat you to birch porridge. I'm not afraid. It's a big deal, a club-footed bear. I don't want to sleep tonight. Give rather white cabbage, give rather red cabbage, give colored and a little rutabaga. Mom is tired of all this. Mom left the bedroom for the kitchen. I began to fry cabbage cutlets. Then she sat down to knit mittens. What is it? Mom shuddered and dropped her knitting. Even the ball rolled under the stove. And in the dark, cautiously and timidly, a gray mouse crawled out of a mink. Pip, said the mouse to the bunny. Mom. He screamed. Oh, I'm afraid of the mouse. I'm afraid of the mouse. Mom came back. The mouse ran away. The naughty bunny went to bed. He put his ears on the pillow, covered his tail with a down blanket, closed his eyes and the bunny fell asleep.
and no one kicked his ears, grabbed his white tail, treated him to birch porridge. The bear and the foxes did not come. The grey wolf, Toothy, did not come. And for what? After all, a mouse is enough. <laughs>